Kalimera Petra, bonjour, hello. I'm so glad to really be at the beginning of your festival with the sun coming from Greece. I can feel it from here. Thanks so much for accepting this interview. Yeah, it's so nice to have a casual chat about it. How are you today? Bonjour, Seda, Kalimera. I'm very honored and glad uh, I'm here with you. Uh, thank you for having me. Thanks so much for accepting this invitation. I'm so excited because we are right in the middle of your festival, right? I mean, one of the festivals you run and you're also a filmmaker. So I'd love to hear about all this and you're doing so much in even in these transitional times, right? Uh, and thanks so much to Nancy also, who runs the Franklin International Independent Film Festival and who did this introduction between Petra and I. It's really, thank you, Nancy. It's really, really Thanks, Nan. It's yes. really, uh, very Thank nice of you, you and very smart. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Yeah. And I see, uh, Jenna, that uh, you were part of the Franklin International Film Festival this year. I watched um, a panel you had. Thanks so much uh, for watching. It was a beautiful yes. I loved the panels. Did you enjoy them? I enjoy very much. And uh, you know something? Last year, I was participating in the festival and I issued also uh, the flight tickets and everything. And the last minute I broke my wrist, so I couldn't go. And oh. last year, we didn't think to do a virtual meeting. So, because I was part in uh, participating in panels, but <laughs> so oh. I missed at all <laughs> the flair of Franklin uh, Independent Film Festival. But I'm glad that you had that. <laughs> It's, uh, and Nancy brought us together. So it is wonderful. It's great that it's still happening through virtual world, right? Because she's in Tennessee and you're in Greece and I'm in Paris and we can still make this happen through technology. So that's really wonderful. And congratulations for your film screening at Franklin last year. That must have been really exciting. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad to. I'm glad. And the selection of Franklin is great. Yes. And uh, we like... I think all of us, uh, we are working on films of purpose. It, yes. we, we focus on what the genre we are selecting. Personally, we focus on human rights, women empowerment, uh, social uh, climate change. Yeah. Social justice, I so appreciate that. And you even received an award that came last year for your film about social justice, didn't you? That's impressive. It, it is impressive and very honored. It, I just finished this film, Woman, uh, it is about the woman in politics in Cyprus. It was actually μια πολιτική παρέμβαση στο κοινωνικό γίγνεσθε τότε το να αποφασίσουμε για παράδειγμα να πάμε στον πόλεμο του Ναγκόρνου Καραμπάχ και να βοηθήσουμε τους Αρμενίους. Ήθελα να δω γυναίκες στην πολιτική και μάλιστα γυναίκες πρόσφυγες. Νιώθω ότι είναι κάτι που πρέπει να δεις, παρά ότι κάτι που σου δίνεται αυτόματα. Τα κοινωνικο-οικονομικά διατομένα έχουν νο... Α, Οδηγήσει ενδεχομένω και οι γυναίκε να θεωρούν ότι έχουν κατακτήσει την ισότητα, ενώ ξέρουμε ότι είμαστε πολύ μακριά όλε. Είναι μεγάλο πόνο να ξυπνά κάθε πρωί και να βλέπει στα σπλάχνα του ίδιου του πεντοδάχτυλου αυτά τα σημάδια τη κατοχή. Το τουρκικό εμπάρκο είναι ένα τεράστιο πόδιο το οποίο βλέπουμε καθημερινά σε ό,τι κάνουμε. Οι πολιτικές σκοπιμότητες και τα πολιτικά προβλήματα δημιουργούνται λόγω οικονομικών συμφερόντων. Οι άντρες κυβέρνησαν, οι άντρες διαχειρίστηκαν τα πράγματα. Δεν θα ήταν σωστότερο και για την ίδια την κοινωνία και για τον ίδιο των ψηφοφόρων να δοκιμάσει και ένα νέο μοντέλο. Το μοντέλο άντρε και γυναίκε μαζί. Να 
uh, it is about the woman in politics in Cyprus. The title is "She Should Run," and uh, yeah, I got the emerit spotlight on women from the World Peace Initiative in at Cannes Film Festival. Congratulations! Yeah. I love Cannes so much, and this is a brilliant achievement. And Honestly, like, yes, obviously with Nan, the three of us, we love films, as you say, with purpose that are meaningful. And it feels really good to see someone like you receive such a word because you really deserve it. You know, you do the film, like you champion the films that need to be out there, that need to be recognized. So I think it's it's really, really good to hear. I'm really glad and congratulations again. And, and congratulations <laughs> on the film. Thank you for submitting it at Paris Festival. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, I know the jury. Thank you. Oh, you, you had already the chance to, to have a look at the film? Yes, this yes, of right. course. You know, I look at every single submission that we receive. We receive a lot and really they're amazing films from five continents. And again, filmmakers show how resilient they are because even in these transitional times, like, we've received the most amazing films and congratulations on yours because it's really, really beautiful. And I think female empowerment especially you know, in Europe, in this region of the world, it's, it's really important, literally everywhere. I just love how you put it together and it's a documentary, right? So how you, how you really, you enhanced on that and like really the process, like the history, the realities and the challenges they go through. And I think it's so important. So, and it's never been made before. I've never seen a film like exactly on this topic in this region. Um, you know, I was inspired from a movement in the United States uh, two years ago about the So uh, they, they, they create incubators for women that would like to be involved more in the com community. And uh, I had to do this film as my thesis for my master. And I, I say, well, let's see uh, how women politicians in uh, Cyprus behave, what is the history, the background, because uh, Cyprus is in a very, um, uh, I don't know, maybe you know from the history in 74, the, yes. the island uh, was divided uh, through the Turkish occupation. And uh, it's recent, it's a recent history. So people had to move on, to leave their houses, to be immigrants in their own country. So they left uh, from uh, the north and they went uh, to south. So uh, these experiences, this is the common, uh, this is the common experience that these ladies um, remember or they listen from their families uh, because they are some, uh, the, the minister of the deputy minister of maritime is very young, so she was not uh, born that period. Uh, uh, and it's very interesting what they say and how they feel. I mean, the different generations. But uh, and the, the, the common common the concern is peace. So, and uh, the woman uh, of um, the head of uh, gender equality. In, uh, in, in Cyprus says something very wise that uh, a man ruled the world all these years and we are here. So why not to, to change the model now to, to, to men and women to be together in decisions uh, as uh, in a family. So maybe the yes. government will be more uh, successful. A every government, every community to have uh, men and women together. <laughs> Okay, so this is a message I want to, 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 to say, to tell. I love it. I love it, yes. Only together we can really, I think also the atmosphere to yeah. work or to live is so much more healthy, whether it's in the political world or just the film world or any world really, when we are together, like it's not too many men or not too many women, you know, we are just in this together and it's more healthy and everyone contributes and there's respect because at the end of the, of, of the, of the day, we are, if there are 51% women, right? <laughs> like we, we are in this world together, so we should be equally represented. Yeah, yeah. Represent. I would love to. Yeah, and you know, uh, from my experience in, as, as a volunteer, uh, I see now I realize that, that women are in this uh, organization. They volunteer, more women volunteer. Maybe men are the heads 
uh, they have the top positions, but women are the workers. So, the, so maybe we have yes. to think about that. And uh, and yes, uh, 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 the situation changes now. Uh, the vice president in uh, United States is a woman. So it's the first woman who enters the White House and she's yes. not the wife of the president. <laughs> yes, first time. So let's see. <laughs> Yeah, let's see. It's a great message to share with the world, obviously. And I would love to know, like, because this film is so, it's it's so incredible because I, I had never heard of these stories before. And I wanted to know, so when I, I read the synopsis, you know, I heard about your film from you and thanks to Nan, I was, I was really happy because I was like, yes, I've never... I've never heard enough about this, so I'm really looking forward to hearing about it. And I, I'm, I would like to know behind the scenes, can you share with our listeners who, like, what made you want to do this as a filmmaker? You know, like, from your personal point of view, how did it feel to, to, to film the film or to find the financing? Did you feel help? Did you feel supported? How did that happen? Because, as I told you before, I've been a volunteer. Uh, mm -hmm more more than 20 years <laughs> now That's and so i like to focus on on a purpose first also, also at the festival the same yes. it happens uh, i don't uh, i'm not waiting to have grants in order to to start uh, the festival uh, organization uh, we ran the festival for 15 years in uh, cyprus and for 11 years in greece, in greece oh, on so volunteer great. basis first of all but of course, it is a professional organized and professional people work and uh, somehow they have to, to be paid. <laughs> okay, they, 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 have to they eat. offer, people <laughs> offer, offer for four, five, eight years, 10 years. So yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, now everybody's paid uh, apart me, <laughs> apart from me. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But in any case, so uh, first of all, I focus what uh, what is my goal. So I'm goal oriented, and I start working. And all the things, all the small parts, come together as a puzzle, and uh, it happens. If we focus, we visualize uh, our goal, it will happen, no matter what. <laughs> the yes. universe brings all the necessary parts and elements, and we we gain more uh, experience, we, we, we have more connections, uh, and we learn uh, the way how to do things, how to make a proposal, um, asking for funding, so it, it becomes easier. This is, this is my, uh, my experience, that uh, it, um, to get funding is easier and easier. <laughs> Learning it sounds strange, but this is the result. 15 years running a festival with no money <laughs> at the beginning of the year. That's, that's seriously brilliant. And like, I, I love that you did this film and I love that a bit like, like me, um, you're, you're a filmmaker and you do films about change and you also run the festivals and support the festival for so many years and generously like with your time and your heart and maybe your tears sometimes like making those films heard, giving them a voice. Um, and by the way, I love Greek cinema. I've been to Greece twice and I think it's such it's also such a beautiful country where to film. I would love to film there one day. I love the light and just people are so friendly and so like it's sometimes I, I feel it's a little bit like France they so much respect art you know like with I don't know if it's linked to like the culture and how theater played a huge role in in Greece and you know like I think there's just an atmosphere that is really really inspiring for a creator and I'm excited I know there are also really good tax rebates in Greece and I I just think this That's absolutely inspiring exactly yeah uh, filming in Greece comes uh, even easier now because there are these uh, tax incentives and uh, yeah, the light is always uh, welcomed <laughs> for, uh, for outdoor filming, yeah, uh, free light. Uh, 
yeah, uh, yes, and, and we are in Europe, you know, it's easy to do collaboration, uh, co-productions, European co-productions, yes. there are these programs of media and uh, creative Europe, so it comes, it is easy, and uh, this uh, tax uh, rebate is uh, real, it's a real thing, it's a real thing that yes. it happens really very good. quick, very quickly, yeah. So let's work on that. <laughs> I would the, love that. It's a project. <laughs> I, I, I would love that. Um, you know, my, my debut period drama, which Nan has been very, very kind to invite for her festival next year. And thanks so, so much again, Nan. We keep speaking about her, but she's really amazing. And I love poor ladies like you who bring change. And because I make films about artists struggling with acceptance of their roles in the world. And so the golden age is a tribute to artists who bring change or at least try. And it's set in 60s Saint-Tropez. And this is what I love about Greece is like, just like in Saint-Tropez, there's such a great light, you know, and Greece isn't that far from Saint-Tropez. Like it's, it's almost closer to Paris. It's like, it's really interesting. And I really appreciate um, poor ladies like you who really work on change, whether it's in front of a camera or behind camera, like far from a camera, sometimes just in the industry. Because, well, with all we've been enduring, especially this year, and I already felt like that before, and I'm sure you guys did. I know you guys did, but like with this year, we're going to literally have to rebuild, reinvent ourselves, the industry, how it's going to move forward. And I feel there is, there is really a need now for filmmakers to just come together and reinvent, you know, what's the best solutions for the audiences to enjoy their films. And festivals, I feel, get a lot of credit for that because they, you know, they've been the first hit by the pandemic, you know, with Cannes Film Festival, soft by soft by, like really reinventing themselves to bridge the gap between the filmmakers and the distribution world as they always do. Yeah, and uh, your first claim, I think it's very personal, the story. It's, it's, it seems to be very personal. Uh, and what about the next film? you would like to, to shoot, and maybe this will be in Greece. Thanks so much. What is your future? About, I do, well, my, my second film, I make films about artists and change. So for the second film, I'm in development for a feature that is set in Paris in the world of music, which I'm really excited about because the golden age opens in Paris and I love this city, it's so inspiring for me. And earlier this year, I was very thankful and just really honored. I, I was representing Paris for the liberation of Paris commemoration. And it was really moving. And it was very like, it was, it's very moving to commemorate such important changes made by such, such incredible human beings who even for a lot of them gave their own lives, you know, to save the country and just the world, like just to, to move forward. And I think it's really inspiring also this year, because we are also living something really difficult and virus which kills a lot of people and we really need to come together and find solutions and just be positive about it i guess as much as we can when we can and but the second film i feel like is really a tribute to paris and it's tribute to music lovers though there was kind of a cheeky reference to music with saint tropez and the golden age because i managed to license amazing titles from chuck berry jimmy reed 60s saint tropez it was so important Thank you. I'm really proud. I think it's really, you know, like music is so important in films, right? It's an art form which combines all art forms. So it's a brilliant idea what you get. And the setup uh, in Paris, it's perfect. It is perfect, I think. Right. <laughs> and the period of uh, it will be when it is, it is contemporary film or. Uh, so the golden age is set in the 60s. So 60s. Ironically, my second feature is set in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. okay. We keep going oh. in time. <laughs> it's an important era for I see that. You know, like uh, women, as we know, they've always been struggling. And I really appreciate in your film, we see also women from now because the, the fight is still, is still carrying on, right? It's never over. We still need to protect what we have, like, um, and really the 70s and the 60s, they were in the middle of these transitions for women, especially, you know, when the peel was commercialized, it's like women, they were kind of told at the time, okay, now you have everything. You can work, you can vote, you have the peel. 
so it's it's a lot it was a lot of pressure on them because you know they they were told that they were spoiled but at the end of the day they were just uncomfortable for everything you know they had to be the great worker and the great mom and they have to be sexy you know it's like they had so much on their shoulder and they were just considered as spoiled which is i think i mean looking back in time it's easy to to criticize or say what could have been better but i think it's important to pay tribute to women because they are definitely always really bringing change and going through these important transitions. And probably in Cyprus, like, and, and in Greece, it's like every time there's a war, like usually women are also the first that are kind of suffering from it, women and children. Sometimes it's like, yeah, it's, it's really important to pay tribute to them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, about Cyprus, I think government has a stronger position than in Greece. Uh, this is uh, my feeling, uh, yeah. But in any case, I would like to tell me more uh, things about your festival. When uh, did you start Paris Film Festival and how, for what reason <laughs> this happened? Thanks so much for asking. So how it started is that I've been working for Cannes series, which is the equivalent of the Cannes Film Festival for TV. It's pretty much the same team behind all the you know, the Cannes um, city is, be is behind it. It's focused on TV and it's happening at the Palais with a pink carpet and alongside MIP TV. Even in this year, it was alongside MIPCOM because of the pandemic, so it had to be set in the fall. And it was, it's just really refreshing to be able to push a new art form like here TV that our audiences are so excited about. And so with the Paris International Film Festival, a bit with the same inspiration we want to highlight on change. So we program amazing voices from all over the world. Our selections, our submissions come from five continents, a lot of powerful messages to bring change, a lot of diversity, obviously female filmmakers, which we're really proud of, and also eco-friendly filmmaking, because the golden age was made in an eco-friendly way. And it's also a topic that I think is really important and I love championing and talking about, because it's important to move to a greener world, know even more we know with the pandemic. And so really, really, really excited. The festival, uh, the third edition is happening early February. We have the most fantastic partners who are so committed to bring change. Zeiss, Scriptation, We Audition, Just Add Milk, just to name a few, amazing media partners like Film and TV now in the UK who are amazing championers of filmmakers and also Dig in Mine in California who are just incredible at championing diversity and just like, we just, we are really thankful also for the most fantastic drawers like Chesley Hemsfield, who's been the Louisiana IFF director for 10 years, um, Jeff Rivera, who's a producer and writer, like, we just have an amazing team and, you know, a festival is as good as, as its filmmakers and we are extremely excited for our programming early February. Really, it's like I can guarantee you the filmmakers and the films, they are like, they have such powerful messages, like you'll feel really inspired and we'll have panels because we think education is really important. We need to support the filmmakers or aspiring filmmakers now more than ever. You have a lot of panels too, right? Because your, your festival is happening right now. So how is, how is it going? Um, do you have virtual cinemas? How, do, how is it going? Are you happy? Yes, yeah. Yes, I'm, um, we handle the participants as the stars. So especially in this festival, the 11th edition that it is all uh, virtual, uh, we have every night a panel for, with the the film directors where their film were uh, streamed uh, online. So these are the panelists. The filmmakers are the panelists every day, different people, but also the rest of them can participate and uh, exchange uh, experience uh, and of course networking. And uh, we started yesterday with a panel uh, from uh, I was uh, very honored uh, because we had participants from Greece, Cyprus, and Florida <laughs> from the United nice. States, and it, is, it was about uh, the script and the and the play. What is the difference? And uh, yes. is your idea for a play 
or for a film. <laughs> and the many uh, issues um, uh, raised uh, through the discussion because uh, they were talking about the normal model as this uh, would, uh, was happening uh, up to now, uh, yes. where theaters uh, uh, were, uh, had live performances and uh, uh, we uh, filmmakers were able to do the shooting uh, without extra safety uh, mm. measures through, through COVID. And we say, what is the future now? Maybe we have to think uh, right uh, differently and to have in mind that the theater play will be recorded and streamed at the, at the same time. Or maybe a theater will be uh, from uh, recorded from different in different places and uh, through the with technology it will be assembled or edited all together <laughs> yes so yeah it was very That's interesting important. the discussion yesterday yeah so every day we have uh, this uh, usually in the festival uh, the members of the jury come uh, who are um, mm. distinguished professionals and uh, they do also panels but uh, now they had so many much work to do, judging the films. Uh, so I'm waiting for them at uh, the award ceremony, that it will be on Christmas Day. Oh, that's <laughs> so nice! Oh, that's yeah, it's a gift awesome. <laughs> to all of us. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the few or the first festivals that they will be live during Christmas. <laughs> oh, I love it. I think this is brilliant, especially for those, you know, who can necessarily see their family or who are a bit restricted. I think this is amazing. And where where does it take place usually physically, the festival? In which city or which island? In Yes, in Greece, uh, our base in, is, at, is at Agi Theodori. It's a resort near Corinth, one hour drive from Athens. And, use, and we have also screenings in Athens some years simultaneously, uh, but it is in Corinth, our area. Nice. That sounds so, so, uh, so glamorous, you know, like to be by the sea or like enjoy the, the Greek weather, drink cold coffee, which I love. <laughs> I used to drink. Yes. <laughs> yes. And cruising the canal to oh. go to Peloponnesus. Yeah. Yeah. And also you can go for the day to Athens, to Acropolis and come back. Uh, yes. I wanted to, to ask you about the name of the festival. It's a great brand. Paris. Thank you. There are many Paris festivals. Yeah, there, Paris film festivals. Um, there are a few, but yeah. we are the only international one, like Paris International Film Festival. We, we are very proud. We are backed by the Paris city, and I love Paris so much. You know, the Golden Age is the last drama ever filmed at Notre Dame Cathedral before it, it burned. Um, and I just love this city, and it's so inspiring. and. French cinema is so inspiring. Paris really needed that festival that just has this leverage of attracting amazing international filmmakers and celebrate cinema together. And, you know, for our physical edition, we had prepared wonderful networking sessions on the rooftop with a view on the Eiffel Tower sparkling. And so that will happen as soon as it's safe, you know? <laughs> We're really excited. But also filmocracy for the virtual edition are, are being incredible because really their platform enables our audiences to be able to attend the festival the closest we can get from a physical one. You have virtual tables, you can join and Zoom opens and, and you know, you can have a, a, a really natural chat. So I think it's really impressive also to see what technology enables to do. Though I have to say, I'll be pleased to go to Coraf when we can and enjoy the canal and because it will feel really good. And Paris, of course, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it so will feel yes, good. <laughs> let's wait next year to be connected physically. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'll get my tan ready, you know, for Karaf and, and meet the filmmakers and your team because I love Greece and I, I agree. I think like um, I talked about my second feature in Paris, but I also have um, 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 a writer, actor from Greece. She's based in London, but we're discussing to make a project happen in Greece just because the weather is fantastic and it's a, a country I feel really inspired by. 
So she's from there originally. So we're discussing something because I think it would be a shame not to take advantage of su such luxurious nature. It looks incredible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, think on that and work. <laughs> I would love that. A wonderful message about uh, social justice. Also, we might have received some Greek films at Paris, but I won't say any more words. <laughs> Like Greek, Greek, you just said. Like, <laughs> that but I won't say another word. But like, it's a person. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It will be great. Yeah, to, to be yes. there and to, to come. <laughs> yes, yes, and likewise. Like I feel okay, Jenna. If you if you had just one word to conclude and tell our filmmakers who are you know maybe wondering how we can take advantage of these times what what would it be thank you for the question yeah uh, during the pandemic i was thinking because the festivals uh, our festivals take place in november and early december uh, i was thinking what i'm going to do if the, the theaters uh, will not working how i'm going to screen the films what so i was thinking all these months and I was watching the other films, festivals um, being cancelled or postponed or uh, trying to do something online. And uh, we built uh, a distribution platform, inspiredtv.com, oh. that it launched uh, last month, uh, running the Cyprus International Film Festival and uh, now the British International Film Festival, and also we offer distribution uh, to the That's independent amazing. films. Because also as a filmmaker, I was trying to submit my films to Amazon and big platforms, but with yes, all good the above. Success. <laughs> success. So I say, okay, the 3% have agents uh, and uh, big, uh, their big productions, uh, so, they they manage to be there they yes they deserve to be there what about the 97 percent uh, yes. we independent filmmakers so this is the solution of course the subject has to be uh, eligible to our content uh, yes. but it's, uh, it's okay so but everybody can submit for free for a distribution platform and uh, there is no exclusivity in the contract, and they get the eight uh, percent from the views, um, because it is video on demand. So what I'm going to to, to say to the filmmakers and other uh, listeners and viewers, uh, that never disappointed. Uh, when an obstacle appears, that means that it also it's an opportunity. So think over about that. See behind the scenes, <laughs> behind the words, how I'm going to, uh, to, to, to make this, uh, how, we, we, how I'm going to turn it positively for, for, for me and for my, for my environment, my, my family, my community. Uh, so yeah, because everything has two point of views. So it depends how we, we face and how we handle handle its uh, situation but for sure never give up think think how we're going to change and make the things better in our benefit and our <laughs> environment benefit that's, that's inspiring and i cannot agree more and i think for our listeners and viewers indeed it's an amazing message and it's probably the most important one from this year seeing all the opportunities that open because they're always a bright side to everything and I think it's really it's really inspiring and also we'll make sure to include in the description of this episode the link to Inspire TV, your festivals and your film. So looking forward to what's coming up, but it looks like it's a lot of great things. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is www.inspire-tv.com. Very easy. <laughs> yes, it's really easy to remember and it's really inspiring. <laughs>